Hello everybody and welcome to your second uh, tutorial on uh, learning how to program a C++ so this is the moment that you've all been waiting for so now we're gonna get into some C++ code now I'm gonna be I'm just gonna be writing uh, the base code that everybody starts off with which is hello world um, and uh, I'm gonna post a source code on my website, so if you don't want to type it up, you can copy it. But I, I really strongly recommend that you type it up to get used to the, get the gist of the code. Uh, but we're gonna be typing the code, and we're gonna be talking about every single aspect of of what's going on. It and you might not understand exactly everything that's going on, but you will understand it later on. Okay, so I the main IDE I use is Visual Studio, so I'm going to be using that. If you're using Code Blocks, it, it should be fine. Uh, so what we're going to do is click a new project, and uh, you, we're going to want to do a console application. So uh, with Code Blocks, you're going to want to do a, a console application as well. Uh, so for me, let me just click Visual C++. Uh, with with full Visual Studio, you get a bunch of uh, different languages. With Visual C++ Express, you only get uh, Visual C++ or C++. My bad. So what we're gonna do is click Win32 Console Application, and for Code Blocks, you just click Console Application. And uh, this is what we're gonna name our project. So I'm gonna say mine in the C++ folder. Uh, I'm going to call this C++ Made Easy HD okay and what we're gonna do is click okay so uh, for visual studio users this is gonna come up we're just gonna click next and we're gonna click empty projects we don't want a pre-compiled header so we're gonna click f uh, empty project then finish now uh for i believe for code blocks you automatically get a main dot cpp with the the default stuff set up like with including the io stream using namespace std uh, with main return zero and and c out uh for visual studio we have to write all of this code in so what we want to do is write oh sorry let me show you guys so we're going to where source files is we're going to right click and click add new item we're gonna click C++ file.cpp and we're gonna type in main. So uh, for, before I click uh, OK, a CPP file is a implementation file. So there's gonna be two main files we use, uh, the header files and a CPP file. Uh, when we get into classes and stuff, uh, header, we're going to be using header files, but for now, implementation files. Implementation files are where we, we do stuff with our code. Header files is where we just define certain things with our code. So don't worry about uh, that too much. But the reason why we name it main is because everything, we're going to be creating a main function, and every single thing, every single thing that runs in your program, uh, it runs through the main function. So the reason, so we call it main.cpp to let us know that that is the main file. You can name it anything you want. You can call it core. You can call it anything. Uh, about it's the it's general practice to call it main. So we're gonna click add to add it in. Okay. So we have our main.cpp, and we could see that it is there by seeing the tab of there main.cpp. So what we're gonna do is we're going to say uh well first of all let's learn about comments okay so a comment in a code is is something that is not read by the compiler it's basically to keep a note to yourself or to anybody else reading your uh your code or maybe some tips or a reminder anything that you want that that, that you just want to put there so for example if i uh, if i'm distributing my source code i might say like uh, c++ made easy hd uh, coding made easy right so the compiler ignores this right uh, when we put two backslashes that is a common in C++ and it ignores this code so it could be a note to me or a note to anybody <coughs> but say you want to do something on a uh, comment on different lines right so you want to do more than one there's something called a block comment used followed by a, a slash forward slash followed by asterisk or the star symbol 
and uh, and then e, that's the opening block and the next to close it off we do asterisk uh, plus another slash and that's a block comment so anything within that you can write and it will be ignored by the uh, by the compiler so we're going to uh, just have a regular comment and I'm just gonna have it like this okay so the next one is a preprocessor directive right and this is include and we're gonna include iostream so the difference between C++ and and other maybe lesser programming languages like if you use like Turing or something uh, program like Turing uh, has everything available to you out of the box right they have all the different codes um, the things like that C++ is a fast language and uh, one reason for this is that it doesn't include all its capabilities all at once what we do is that we include the certain capabilities or the certain functions or the certain commands that we want to use when we need them. So if we don't, we don't always need every single command. Only we only include them when we need them. So we're including the I/O stream, which is uh, I, be I believe it's called it for the input output stream. Yeah and uh, streams have a lot of things in common so once you get into file streams and string streams and all that stuff you'll see the stuff that they have in common but for now uh, this preprocessor directive basically gives us the access to use uh, the main things to read and write from the console window right so next thing what we're going to do is we're going to say using namespace std okay and for those immature people std ha ha ha, ha funny <laughs> anyways so uh the s the namespace what a namespace is is it's an advanced topic right so we're not going to get into it anytime soon but a namespace is basically something that uh uh, blocks and some code together right so there's different namespaces that, that are identified by certain things right so with this namespace is called uh, STD I believe it's for standard for like the standard library so this is uh, uh, this namespace is uh, when we use a namespace that lets us know that anything that's a part of the uh, the STD namespace that we were able to use it in this scope okay so we got those two things down packed so now for our main function okay now the main function is a special function no other thing can have the same function as main you can uh, override it you can't do anything with it everything runs through this function and we never we're not going to learn functions until probably the 15 tutorial or whatever or in the teens but we follow by saying int and we put main with a uh, with parentheses around it and we have an opening brace and a closing brace. Now, anything within these braces means that uh, uh, that it's within that main function. So this means we're starting it, and that means we're closing it. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're just going to we're gonna explore what more what cout does in the next tutorial. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put cout, and we're gonna have hello world. And then we're gonna add a semicolon. So uh, with C plus plus, with C out is a command that we unlocked by including the IO stream, and this means console output, meaning that we're going to output something to the console. We follow by to doing two left stream operators. So think of it like this: this text is going to be pointing towards the console window. Uh, the console output and therefore it's going to be d uh, displayed so if you don't really know which way the arrows go then think of it is going moving towards the left okay so uh, we ended off by doing a semicolon or semicolon for Americans out there so we end it with that because most not every single statement but most statements in C++ uh, ends with a semicolon right so it just lets us know that um, the this command has ended right so that's how it is so what it's gonna do is gonna say hello world our command has ended and therefore we can issue a new command so last but not least we're gonna have return zero uh, because the function is of an integer type we need to return something and don't worry about that uh, we'll return about we'll learn about functions and return types later on when we learn about functions 
uh, but we're gonna put return zero and notice that we have a semicolon be behind there, right? The reason why we have a semicolon is just to separate the different commands, right? Because say for instance we wanted to put them on the same line. This lets us know that this ends the C out, uh, whatever, and we're ready to take in a new command. So therefore, uh, it knows that return zero is a new command. If we were to get rid of the semicolon, then we would run into an error because it's saying that this command is a part of this command but that it can't work that way so we add a semicolon to let us know that that command has ended uh, so that is it for this tutorial I know this one was kinda long but in the next tutorial we'll break down everything into sections so the next tutorial we're gonna be talking about the console output and uh, if you want to run this program uh, if you're running if you're using code blocks add in uh, sin.get you can add in the Visual Studio as well. If you're using Visual C++, you can do Control F5 uh, without sin.get and it'll run properly. But if you're using code blocks, put sin.get or I'll just open and close quickly. So if we run this, uh, let's just see what we get. So we get Hello World. So there, everybody, your first C++ program. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching and bye.